What's going on, Paleans? It's Randy from Sleepy Katara, and today we're going over the top six tips for you if you're just starting out on Paleo, or maybe you've been playing for a short while and you just didn't know some of this stuff. And boy, this is stuff that I wish I knew. Number one, we are starting out with Renown. Renown can be earned from leveling up your tools, leveling up relationships, and a bunch of different stuff. It is used to not only increase your focus bonus experience, but also your focus bar to a max of 100% focus bonus and 1000 focus. This is going to be crucial for you when leveling your skills and really trying to get an edge and a, and a jump start, if you will, into the game. So following the main story quest, it should lead you to the Phoenix Shrine and Dragon Shrine. Something you'll note in this video is that I have not done these on my starter character, which I use primarily for YouTube videos. However, if this is you and you come here and it does not give you the option to spend your renown, you have to complete the Phoenix Shrine quest to unlock this one, okay? So when you go up to the Phoenix Shrine, you will be able to spend 100 renown and you will see your focus bonus will be increased by 10%. Now, as this goes further, it will take more renown to get you to that full 100% as you would expect. Um, but just keep that in mind. Also, while we're running over here to Magi's Hollow to the Dragon Shrine, remember, once again, you must complete the Dragon Shrine quest to unlock this, which you will during normal progression. And as you can see, your maximum focus will also increase usually by 100 on this one. Now, remember your Renown caps at 1,000, so spend your Renown before you get to 1,000. Number two, we are going to talk about focus food and keeping your focus bar full. Now, this is a quest that I did for Ref, and he actually gave me new food recipes. So once again, do your quest. Now, if you want to just keep making grilled mushrooms or eating raw mushrooms, you can. Most of these early game foods will give you 50 to 100 focus, depending. If you eat them raw, it's only going to give you about five focus, so it's really worth it to work on your cooking and to get your grilled meat. Now, FYI, if you're thinking about focus food, you can always join us at twitch.tv slash where we have focus food parties. Now you are going to use this focus food anytime you are farming, out mining, do not miss out on this bonus XP. The next tip, number three, craft all of your chests. And what I mean by that is you can have a total of eight chests on the ground on your plot. You will start off with the regular wooden chest. Make sure you have eight of them. All it takes is basic materials that you're going to get while farming anyway and you're going to have 3200 max capacity and that will continue to go up once you have farmed gold and you have enough for upgrades at 25,000 and 50,000 you can upgrade another little tip here is get yourself a lockbox storage chest you can have three of these and they are really handy for locking stuff up that you don't want to use in recipes as it will not let you use stuff that are in them. As you can see, the copper storage chest is 25,000 gold and it stores 825 items each. And then moving up to iron at 50,000 gold stores 1,250 items each. They are worth your time. Now, moving on to tip number four, every day, and when I say every day, you want to buy something from Zeki's shop once every real life 24 hours, not game time, real life, because you will get a Zeki coin. And what you can use Zeki coins on are mystery prizes. Now, these mystery prizes are absolutely wonderful and you can get them from Zeki shop once you attain the Zeki coins as you can see on the screen. Many plushies, many different stuff and 
Sometimes you get sticky smoke bombs, so take it with a grain of salt, use your free coins, sometimes you'll get lucky. Number five, rummage piles. These reset every day at 11 p.m. Eastern. Feel free to pause the video because these are all the locations that it can be at. The rummage pile was added to kind of give a, very similar to the, the Zeki coins and the mystery boxes, almost like a mystery pile that you can get various crafting items, uh, whether it's a basket for laundry or just various goods for item decor. With the release of the holiday stuff, they added a holiday rummage pile. So if you're watching this video after Christmas and the holiday piles are gone, you're probably just not going to find these winter light skate decor like I just got. You're more so going to probably have a list of items such as these. So on the left, it is the winter light stuff. But if you're after winter lights and you're watching this video, first of all, thank you. You can look on the right hand side and this is all the stuff placeable items wise that you can get from the rummage pile. Now, fortunately you can get stone and wood and basically stuff that you don't want, but this is a really cool thing that you're not gonna wanna miss out every day. Make sure you do it. Fill your crafters before logging off. I know the fireworks were a bit much there, but listen, the last tip on this list before you go to bed, before you log off for any amount of hours, start crafting planks, start crafting copper, stone brick, whatever you may need, especially also if you're upgrading your house, if you're adding a new addition, those can take two, four, even eight hours. So do not miss out on filling your crafting stuff so that way when you log back in, you are good to go and you're not waiting on anything. That is one of the biggest tips we can give you. Now listen, that's it. That's all she wrote. We appreciate you stopping by. Thank you so much for the love and support. Feel free to subscribe if you want to and feel free to catch us on twitch.tv slash Thank you so much for watching. Have a good one.